my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since the last time you guys have seen me and heard from me, but earlier this year I found out I was pregnant. So ever since then I've just been trying to prepare for my new addition to my family. So <laughs> that's what I've been doing guys. And I'm back with another video finally. And this video will be different from any of the old videos I've done in the past. Um, I've actually decided to just revamp my whole channel. You know, I don't want it to seem like such a random mess when you click on it. I wear so many different hats and I want to be able to share the things that I do with you guys. So I've just decided to, you know, make different series of the things that I do so that way you guys can... So it won't be so, you know, random and confusing. Now, this video is going to be about my toe lack. I am trying to have a toe lack. I am 30 weeks pregnant today. And with my last delivery, I had to have a C-section because my son was breached. Now, this time around, I'm trying to have a toe lack because I, I dream of having a natural vaginal birth. Ooh, I just hope that I, I'm able to do it like I really want to do it. <laughs> So yeah, um, that's what I'm trying to do and that's what this video is about. So this video is for those of you who are interested in the topic and want to learn what a TOLAC is, what a VBAC is, and for those of you who may be going through the same thing that I'm going through and you just need some type of inspiration or you just want to see how it turns out for me, whatever the case may be, that's why I'm here. We're going to be going over a few different things in this video. We will be going over what a toe lag is, what a VBAC is, the difference between the two. We will go over what are the risks of a toe lag, what are the benefits of a VBAC, and what would make the perfect candidate for a toe lag. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Quick disclaimer guys, if you hear my son whining or crying or whatever he's doing, just ignore him because he is in there with his dad and anyway so a tolac is a trial of labor after cesarean now a vbac is a vaginal birth after cesarean um a tolac is basically you trying to have a vaginal birth after you've had a c-section and a vbac is you having that vaginal birth successfully after you've had a c-section so to me they're the same thing i've been corrected plenty of times so a toe lack is a toe lack and a v-back is a v-back now the risks of having a toe lack are um the biggest thing that you'll hear when you're doing your research and stuff is going to be uterine rupture now you want to stay away from a uterine rupture as much as possible it is exactly what it is. It's a it's your uterus rupturing. Now that can cause you to have a hysterectomy. That can cause hemorrhage. That can cause an infection, and all of these different things um, can lead to death. And that is what we don't want. So that it, those are some of the risks of having a toe lack. Now the benefits of having a VBAC are hmm, the biggest thing for me at least, is no surgery. No surgery, a quicker recovery time. Um, you won't have to sit there and heal because you won't heal from what? Like you won't have no surgery. Whichever way people try to put it, they could put it in different ways. They could flip it, reverse it, and all that. But a C-section is a major surgery and it's out. It's out for me. Oh, no. So that's out. That's the biggest thing for me. And another big benefit is after you've had a VBAC, um, your chances of having the rest of your um, your childbirths are going to be vaginal. The chances are high for, the, for every other baby that you have, you will deliver them vaginally. So those are the benefits or some of the benefits. Now, the risks are high. And that's why you'll find a lot of times when you've had a C-section, doctors will try to push you towards having another C-section. I wasn't going for it, period. If you want to have a toe lag, that's something that you need to decide and take to your doctor. Because nine times out of ten, they're not going to offer it to you. They're not going to bring it up like, hey, do you want to have a toe lag? <laughs> they're not going to do that. 
because the risks are high and I just think that they don't want that on their hands if things don't go as planned and I can respect that but like I said the risks are worth it to me but that's me so if you want to have a toe lack you make that up in your mind and you you present the idea to your doctor a lot of doctors will turn you down will say no but there are some doctors who are for it and who encourage it there are a lot of midwives who encourage it i have a midwife she encourages my choice my idea she is there for me and period like i'm blessed so that um yeah now um as of 2013 the success rate for women in the United States who have had a TOLAC um, is 70%. So 70% of the women who have tried this have successfully had a VBAC. Now, with that, I just want to throw that out there. So, you know, do what you want with that information. <laughs> um, let me see what else. Okay, so what would make the perfect candidate? Now, the perfect candidate for a TOLAC will be someone who has had one prior transverse incision, one low transverse incision in their, um, you know, in their uterus. And also someone who has had at least somewhere between 12 and 24 weeks um, between the time that you gave birth to the next time you conceived. So, yeah. I also want to throw out there that if you don't have one of the two, that does not automatically disqualify you because it just doesn't. Don't let nobody put you in the box. That is just what the ide ideal candidate looks like, you know, and oh, well, if you don't look like that, you may still be able to have a toe lag. So just talk to your doctor and pray on it. That's all I can say because... I am no medical professional. I can't tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing and what I know about it. I've done my research and I talked to my doctor. We are on the same page. And like I said, she's there for me. So period. Um, if, Like I said, if you don't meet one of the two um, things that, that would make you an ideal candidate, don't be, um, don't be, you know, discouraged because I got pregnant six months after I had my son after I had my son I got pregnant six months afterwards and I'm still finna have my toe lack so period um everybody is not the same and everything and you like y'all know every pregnant every pregnancy is different and period that's just what it is so everybody is different and every pregnancy is different i feel like i'm missing something y'all but i think i did everything those are the that is what a toe lack is that is what a vbac is those are the risks those are the benefits and that is what the ideal candidate for a toe lack looks like now i don't want to hold y'all too long so before i go um like I said, this is the first video of this series, and I will just call this my toe lack series. Now, um, I will be back soon because I am 30 weeks, guys. And if you guys are interested in it, I just want to throw it out there. I will be back soon um, to share with you guys how I'm prepping my body, my mental, and my uterus for um, labor. So... Like I said earlier, you don't want to have a uterine rupture and there are things that you can do to help your uterus to be strong so that way your uterus can endure those um, those contractions. So I'm going to be doing a few of my own things and if you guys are interested in seeing that, I will be making a video about that very, very, very soon. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. <laughs> I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but hey, like, I'm pregnant, so. But anyways, um, yeah, I feel like I'm forgetting something, and I don't know, but if I am forgetting something, I will add it to the very end of this video, so just watch to the end. Um, like this video and subscribe if you care. If you're not already subscribed, and you know, these are things that you're into, Go ahead and subscribe because I will be providing more videos like this one. So with that being said, Happy New Year's and thanks for watching.